The Attorney General is ceremoniously sworn in, and AT&T is fined for not disclosing information. KOMU 8's Aly Alyssa Kirkland has your First Nation report. Loretta Lynch, the 83rd Attorney General, was honored at a ceremonial swearing-in today at the Warner Theater in Washington, D.C. Although Lynch has officially been on the job for nearly two months, she was sworn in for a second time at a formal investiture ceremony. President Obama praised Lynch for hitting the ground running and for being a tough but fair Attorney General. Lynch succeeded Eric Holder, who was at the Justice Department for six years. The industry trade organization for the leading U.S. airlines is saying no to requiring smaller carry-ons. Airlines for America says no U.S. airlines are in favor of the smaller carry-on bag initiative recently put forth by the International Air Transport Association. Under the initiative, the standard size for bags would decrease, meaning many current carry-on approved bags would now need to be checked. The initiative is not a requirement currently. The Federal Communications Commission says it plans to fine AT&T $100 million for misleading consumers about unlimited data plans. The FCC is accusing the nation's second largest wireless carrier of throttling, a practice that involves slowing down data speeds for customers with unlimited data plans and failing to notify them of a possible delay. AT&T says it will vig vigorously dispute the proposed fine. And that's your first look around the nation. In your international news, Japan is 